chapter 13 is all about the parable. Parable, parable, parable. <clears throat> oh, just verse 31. Mm-hmm. Another parable he put forth to them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed which a man took and sowed in his field which indeed is the least of all the seed. But when it is grown, it is great than the herbs of the, and become a tree, a tree so that the bays of the air and nest and branch. There are another parable. He talk about the, the, the woman. All this is talking about parable. Why is talking about parable? By the way, we, we were thinking that all what we taught to the elders, we're going to teach you the same, so as a, as a family. No, the kingdom of God is a mystery. The kingdom of God, you cannot see it with natural eyes. You see only the fruit of the kingdom of God. We are going to go there later. So what, what you see when God bless us here, miracles happen, all these things, but it's from. So I said that day, you didn't give me clothes today. The last day, someone gave me clothes to show the kingdom of God is a mystery. True, the kingdom of God. Now, this verse I'm reading is a, a saying, it's like a master seed. When it is <laughs> when it is grown, it's going to be <laughs> going to be big, big tree. Okay. Uh, then when I'm talking, it says this: the kingdom of God is like a seed, master seed. It says it grow. Now then you find some people who been a Christian for a long time. They never grow. All that is the same. But if the seed of true seed of the word of God is in you, you will grow spiritual. You will begin to know the thing which you didn't know before. You will begin to see the thing which you never seen before. You, as you grow, you begin to understand the thing you never understand. Then let us say, why did I know this is? I did? Because you are growing. The kingdom of God is a mystery. It's hidden. All what you see is the fruit from there. But you cannot, that's why Jesus said by a parable. He cannot say the kingdom is this. So we were, was it here? When we were Oh, yes. and when we uh, straightened uh, the books, I think it's the book of Luke, uh, is it 17 or maybe 21, I can't remember, where Jesus said the kingdom of uh, God is within you. 
Some people, they think, when that verse, they think the kingdom of God is in your, in your heart. But the scripture is not like that. So we hear scripture says, so the kingdom, Jesus says, the kingdom of God is in you. No, it's not like that. He said, the kingdom of God is within you, just around you. It's a different, it's around, then we show the scriptures in the book of oh, John when he said, the Holy Spirit is with you, he shall be in you. So that verse, uh, the kingdom of God is within you, it doesn't mean in your heart, it means within you, you can receive it. It's, so. We were stressing that place. So the kingdom of God is a mystery. So that's why you have to be born again to, for you to see. But now let's finish. The, the kingdom of God is dropped in your heart. If you love God and you read the word of God every day in prayer, you will grow spiritually you will understand the thing which you never understand. You will have a thing when you never thought you were not going to have it as you continue staying in the word of God and growing. So, the kingdom of God is a mystery. Now, what I want to say to my children, uh, for you, the Bible is, is all Jesus said he came here uh, you know, old gospel men, people, many years ago, they were preaching that we are going to be happy in heaven. We are going to be happy, we must work hard. Uh, you know, same book, our old preacher, they say, you'll be buried in heaven. Some people say, some people say, you, there's a, so they were telling us that, that different until their eyes spiritual open. So they were saying, Jesus said, the, repent for the kingdom of God has arrived on earth. And the preacher said, we must work hard so we can be happy in heaven. So that was the thing uh, that people didn't understand. Jesus said, repent. For the kingdom of heaven has at hand. Why the kingdom of God? To heal the sick, to blind to see, to why? In John book of Luke 8 says, he went out village to village, bringing the great glad tidings. So the purpose of the kingdom of God here on earth it's for you to enjoy the benefit of suffering of Jesus, to enjoy here so you can worship God with a clean heart. So because of that, then I want to share to you, uh, if you want to enjoy this God we are worshiping, if you have, don't, don't borrow, borrow money. Believe Believe, believe God. Don't borrow, borrow, borrow money. You are not going to be a happy person. And uh, when you are uh, telling a lie, stop telling a lie anymore. I'm speaking to my, my children, my deacon now. Stop telling a lie. We have said that if you were, uh, anything you are doing, you know it is not good. Fight. Get off from that things. Get off from that spirit. Fight. Fight to get out. Fight to get that, uh, that things. I saw it in uh, other country where our people is because of the things of the bad picture they see over there. You find there's no, there's no fire in them. They are so weak because of the negative 
things I see, uh, pornograph, anything. You see it all the time. So when I was in school, we saw. You, we never seen in Africa. We never seen it. And you see people have sex right in the road there when you're passing there in a the, the park. And you find yourself, you can be strong if you are not staying in the word of God. You become so weak, spiritual. So, only thing to do is keep on fighting and try to run away from those kind of, run away from those groups, separate with those people. I want you to enjoy the kingdom of God. I want you to have what I have. I don't hide it. I want you to have it. So you only, the other thing is say, of scripture says, people who do this, they cannot inherit the kingdom of God. People who do things cannot inherit the kingdom of God. It doesn't mean in heaven. So the kingdom of God does not inherit the kingdom of God. So, so you see people here, uh, but because they are still doing those things, they are not uh, like what this year. This year, people are going to see miracle. We are going to go there. Miracle, miracle. Miracle of school fees. Mirac you will see miracle in your bank account. You will see, mir you will see miracle. It's going to happen. It's already started to happen. You will see in your bank account, you will see in your school fees, you will see miracles. Because God has said so. This year is year of sufficient. You will find out this year all the little money you have is going to be enough. So, because of that, that I'm saying, don't do those things that hinder blessing to come in your family. Don't do those things. Don't keep on telling lies, borrow money. Better to suffer and be honest before God so that this blessing I'm talking will be come to your way. Then you have a, what you call, said one of my son in the Lord calls Miles Monroe. He went to be with the Lord. What he said, he said, since I found out in the kingdom of God, the life becomes so easy. No more struggling. We used to struggle. No more struggling. Was like you all the keys of the kingdom of God. You know, if you want this, you touch this, it happened. You want this thing, you touch this, it happened. You did this, it happened. No more crying like we used to do. So, that's why I want you to Enjoy the blessing of which God has given us in the age of forward and faith. We want you to, we don't do funny things. We, we were saying, uh, we have a lot of here in our church here, in my church, we have a lot of people who are, uh, what do you say, a lot of police in my church, members and church, a lot of intelligent people that's working, they are here in my church. They are members of my church. But, but some of people, some people, when they see them, they are afraid of them. They are afraid. They say, this, this, ah, this is CIO. Ah, we're afraid of them. And they, they say, oh, why, why are you afraid? <laughs> we don't do anything that, <laughs> we don't do secret things here. What we do is open for everybody. We don't hit a trick. <laughs> so hey, we don't want the police to see this. Oh, 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 be careful. No, we don't do that. We are so open. We are so open. We speak the truth. We work the truth. We are so open. So we don't want you to live a life that you're always afraid of police on no way. Get out of things that cause you to afraid police. Do right thing. When you do something, when you drive a car without uh, insurance, you must know. Oh, many years ago, we were before we have a car, use bicycle in the city. Now, 
Now my bicycle that night, it was a night, my bicycle, there was no light. Then I drove my bicycle to go home. Then the police catch me in the road, said, you don't have a light. Then I said, I, yes, I know, but I thought they're going to hide. You're not going to see me. <laughs> because, I, because I knew the law. So what could I say to the police? <laughs> I have to be honest. I said, I thought I can sneak in and go home. <laughs> then he said, I catch you. I said, and we talk, and we begin to laugh. He said, go, be careful, don't do it again. <laughs> he couldn't. Uh, arrest me because I was so honest. <laughs> I said, I knew the law. <laughs> but I thought maybe I can sneak it because I need to go home. <laughs> so, when you are honest, you can live life here. Yeah. We, you ask my driver, we, we drive, the police is there, that's in the road. When you are honest, they let you go. But when you begin to tell liars, ha. Huh, they catch you. So I want you to enjoy life. Stopping borrowing money. No. The business, when you're running business like selling the house or selling uh, something, that there's a business that not bring money quickly. You cannot run a business for your real estate selling the houses without doing another business. You cannot survive because it takes time to sell that house. So never depend on that kind of business. You must have another. Those business, most of the people who does that, they are doing like a, until you be well known in that city so that you're going to be very busy. But never depends. When you are running business, you must do another thing where you can still running the farm. If you are, have a farm, you cannot depend by maize, which you put in. You, when you are running farm, you have to have a, a hot culture where you have a garden, a vegetable, for waiting for this uh, maize in, in the field. But if you depend on that, you are going to suffer. Because it only happens once a year. But you have to have a something, small garden or small thing where you get food. So like even a business, when you run a business, you, you know, you have to have another thing. But some people, you, you leave the job before that business has grown up. Don't leave the job when you start a business. Stay at work. Do it that business part time until you know for sure that that business, they can suffer. Now, you have your problem. You start a business, it's where you get the rent for the house, it's where you get food from that. You are, it's just a starting. You cannot survive by that. You will suffer. You blame God by that. When you start a business, you must do something else. Okay, here I am. What I used to do when I work in the city council, Five o'clock, I used to sell something. Five o'clock, go to doing something. Doing something to, to survive. We go to do something. Not depend on the man who get there. So we have a lot of people here. They start a business and they find out that business does. Because business, it, it takes time for you to have, to, to have something from that. For you to eat something from that. Business that when you got money, you put it back in the business. You got the money, you put it back in the business. You put it until time comes that that business can stand. But now, the reason we will start a business, there are a lot of people in my country who just be start a business, be, begin to employ people because of the promise. Someone promised to give you money. You start a business, employ people. It's happened here. In my, my country, employ people because someone promised. And then you find the people waiting for all, receive money. And you find you don't have it. Because we, we teach people. I'm a father of business people. 
I'm a president of Africa Christian Business Fellowship. We teach people, there are some people here today who are nothing, but today they are somebody. By listening to the teaching, by listening to the teaching we teach. So, because I want you to enjoy the kingdom of God, then you, know, you see that I'm, talk, I'm sharing experience. Instead of just stick on the verse, I'm sharing experience. Because all of you, when I call my daughter Prisca from South Africa, remember when she shared here, some of you, like, how many people who, when she shared the problem in the business. So I, I want to say to the deacon, for you to enjoy the kingdom of God in forward and faith, don't use a trick, bad trick to try to lie. Don't tell lie. Try to fight, be honest. Yes, business, business, or business is to run a business. Business, you are, if you're running business, you don't want this one to know what you are doing. Because you now we my office in town. We used to buy things because we we didn't have time to go on shopping. People used to come to my office to sell clothes and things. We thought maybe they brought from China. Yet yeah, they bought it down there near <laughs> and come and sell it to us. <laughs> because we didn't know. Mama Goti, <laughs> she was selling tea, uh, tea leaves. Now she used to, uh, somebody was selling her tea. So this person said, <laughs> this person said, Mama, why not come order tea again? Why not? She said, I'm not coming there. I got, but because she found the area with this one. <laughs> This woman was selling to Mama Good, she ordered somewhere. Then Mama Good find out that <laughs> she ordered here. <laughs> what did it mean? That means her business is finished. <laughs> because she lost the business. So when you are doing business or selling something, you don't want everybody to know where you get the things. Otherwise, you lose the job. <laughs> now I'm just telling you about the business. When you do business, you have it's, it's do it secret, so they don't know where you order those things. I got people who order sugar here to go to Kinshasa. I was there. They was say order sugar here, order sugar here, and the people in Kinshasa begin to find where they get this sugar. This man, and they find it themselves. And they say, sorry, we are not buying your sugar. He lost business because he's not, he was not wise. He was not wise. To, to be a business person, business woman, you must be a wise person. You must be very wise. So I'm talking this because I know some of you, you are not happy because of what happened. And you are afraid. You are afraid some people about their money. You have been telling now it's too much. That you know, you, in some of people you don't receive phone when they when someone ring. You don't receive call. You pretend that you are not there because of what you have done. So that's why I'm spending this minute to explain to you. If you want to enjoy the kingdom of God, stop those things. Running business, business, it takes time to, uh, yes, all right, I can tell you, someone said to me, ah, you, Baba, you want to pay talent, I want to tell you where you can get money for talent quickly. And she said, uh, put your money in this company here, just put a little money in that company, you'll have your money for talent. Okay, now it's five years since I put that dollar until now. <laughs> until now. But she said, just put your dollar there. You can have your money for talent. I said, ah, good. Then I put that dollar there. And now it's five years. 
I don't have it. Now, <laughs> if I was put everything to my food, I was going to die with hunger. <laughs> so that a business. <laughs> you have to be very careful. Business is just like I told you, it's like a swimming pool. Swimming pool, there's a deep end and a shallow area. So the business people who are uh, expert in business, they are playing in the deep end. And sometimes they, they know how to swim. You think they are standing down. They say, come here, but he's not sitting. You think he's just standing. You say, say come here. You go there. Go. That's it. That's bus the business people. When they talk about making money, you think tomorrow get money. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. When they talk, there are some people, there are other people who talk about faith in America. When they talk about faith, 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 you think tomorrow <laughs> you can believe these things happen. <laughs> so I thought to spend this time to pull you out from those things that cause you not to be a happy person. I can preach good things, but unless you are out of that, I preach here, but you still uh, crying. The kingdom of God is a mystery. It is, you see it with the spiritual eyes. God spoke to me in those years. And what he says is what he says. I went through fire, I went through water, but what he says, what he says, it never changed. So, brothers and sisters, some people, when they, God speak to you, and for things, when you're, gone, when you're in big trouble, you think God was not uh, honest. So like Mama Guti, when we were flying, so that's in, um, I think it was in Texas, and it, it was, we thought we were all going to die in that flight. Terrible. Shaking. Everything. Everybody was just, we were going to die. Mama Guti said, ah, if God, uh, God, if God goes, or that, nothing is going to happen. Then I asked, I, I tell her, read the, the, when Paul went to Rome, how did he went? <laughs> <laughs> what happened in the road. <laughs> but he, still, God says, he may send you to Rome. But a lot of trouble in the way. So never think that <laughs> when you find the trouble, you think God is not there. <laughs> He'll feel, feel what he said. Paul, God says, go to Rome. But he went through a hard time, but he was there. So I thought to spend, because it is where you live. You live here, yes, we need, the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All these things. That's why my teacher, uh, Gordon Lindsay, she says, we have two passports. Passport for this world and passport of heaven. So because we live in this world, we must know how to live in this world. So, if you don't know how to live this one, you're always crying. You always, sometimes you find yourself in prison. You're always sometimes people hating you. So that's why I'm spending time, but we are still, we are here in this world. You must know how to live in this world. Don't create problems that will cause you to lose your uh, inheritance in the kingdom of God. So, that's why I'm saying these things. I'm, because we live here. We need, to, we need money. We have to work. We need to work. We need to run a business. We must do this. But, but we need to use wisdom so that we cannot get in trouble. Are you hearing me? Yeah. I, I, I know my deacons. I want you to enjoy the kingdom of God. But you must be careful. Don't do things that cause you to lose your enjoy the kingdom of God. So, don't 
be like this world. They depend in the world. They depend by hoping, hoping, by hoping in it. We live by faith. So to run, yet you must work hard. Buy things and sell this, this, this. Do, do a lot of things to survive in this world. You have to do a lot of things to survive in this world. But don't do something that will cause you to lose the joy. That's not why I'm speaking this time. Don't do those things that you lose the joy. Don't do those things, people, that you lose your testimony. You need to be able to stand and stand in the road in your city. So like I used to say, I'm not from America, I'm not from uh, Nigeria. What I, when I prophesy to you, you have to ask, you can ask me next year, I'm still here. So you can ask me, I don't see like that one I saw. He said, oh, put your money in my Bible. I'm going to pray for you. God is going to bless you. Put your money in the Bible. And the people put in his Bible. And so blessing. We am not doing that, brother. Uh, because I'm here. Um, I have to tell the truth. I tell this thing, this doesn't work, these things work, this does not work, these things work. Because I'm here. I'm one of you. I always you hear me. I'm your brother. I'm your brother. I'm your brother. I'm not somewhere from where or I'm holy from there. I'm your brother. I know what you um, you are in because I was just like you. But as I grow, now I can share with you. Say, don't do this, don't do this. You can, if you do this, you'll be okay. Do, do, do this. I told you when someone said, put your money in this company, you are going to have a plain money for talent. Now five years. <laughs> Nothing. If I put all my food... So some of you, you do that. You put all your money there, hoping that man is coming. So then I'm warning you, say, don't do it. And you say, why? Because I've been there. <laughs> I'm not telling the thing that I don't know. I'm just telling you, don't do it, because I've been there. It's not good. You lose joy. You lose joy. I have to say this because we have two pastors. We need to live well here. And uh, our soul prepare when we enter internal life. So while we stay in this body, we need to work, we need to use our hands, we need to go to school, we need to start. Then when I say go to school, you have, if you watch what I said in Sheraton that year, so when I say go to school, I don't mean to go to start math and this, go to learn something. Go to learn something that you can do with your hands. Because we have a lot of people who go to degrees, but they just degree for something else. But there are no job. There's no job. Degrees there. Ah, there's a, remember that woman who came to our headquarters crying for me every day when I walk, she saw me in the head, crying. Bring all the degrees of her husband, crying every day. Do something for my husband, kneeling down, cry. Do some, degrees there, but no job. But, so, this way, I'm your father. This I did myself. I, want, I didn't have a good education, but I, have, I went to learn to be a carpenter. So, I'm a carpenter. I went to learn. Yes, I'm a painter. I learned a lot of things for that if I can't get a job, I can do it at home. If I can do it, I can do it myself to live. Now, if you depend with your degree, there's a, a woman in Jamaica. She had a lot of degrees, but the people, she cannot get a job. People are afraid of her. When you look to her, she just looks like a leader of the company. Her, just like that. People are afraid to employ her because she, they're afraid of her. Because she just has a kind of life. She has, when you look at her, she becomes like a boss to you. Yet she's not a boss. So she can't get a job. Because she looks like, like this one. Like, like this, my son here. Look like... like 
You look, you look for Job and say, look at you and say, oh, no. <laughs> they are afraid they are going to control them. Yet you are not. <laughs> so <laughs> people are so different. So don't depend with the degree only. Learn something, what you going to do with your hands. Use your hands. Don't say, I'm Form 4, I cannot sell banana. What is Form 4? Form 4 is not cost. I see cost in your Form 4 is just Form 4, but it's not a degree for something. Don't be afraid to sell banana because you've got a degree. So, so, I'm explaining this so I want you to have better life here. But if you do something tangled, you are spirit. You always be an unhappy person. That's why I'm speaking all these hours. I know what I'm doing. I can go straight away, speak the word of God, it pleases you to you. You can be filled with the Holy Spirit, but still, he is stupid. <laughs> So I don't want to lead stupid people. Me, no. 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 I'm not like that preacher that like, I just want to win you so you can give me money. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't. No, 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 no. I don't, don't depend on your money. I'm a servant of the Lord. I don't depend on your money. So I always says, oh, when I, uh, some people in a small church, uh, we are not going to give you, we are not giving our tithe. We are not, uh, the church was there before you, brother. <laughs> if you can backslide and turn off you, the church will continue to move on. <laughs> never, never, never think that. When we give, we give, we want blessing. We are not giving to run, the church it run itself. Whether you are there or not, it's going. So when we give, we give because we want a blessing, not because the church is suffering. No. So I'm spent all this time because we have this passport of this world. You must know how to live in this world so that you cannot create trouble, that you lose joy. That's why I know what I'm talking this. Don't borrow the money when you don't know that you can able to pay back. Don't promise people that I'll give you. Oh, that's some years ago, I had uh, my friend, uh, Mr. Wariro, the Englishman, who'd been with me for, yeah, we preached together here. So another man, oh, me too, I did the same. I went to him, you know, I didn't have an uh, instrument for for PA system. So, <laughs> when you're stupid, I went to him, said, because he was running big company here. Then I went to him and said, oh, we saw an uh, instrument, very good instrument. And uh, I was told, to talk to me, maybe he's gonna give me money to buy. <laughs> no, I said, we saw good instrument. Oh, it's very good. So, he said, if God, Give you an instrument, must give you money. <laughs> so, so another man came to him. He wanted to borrow 10,000. He said, you want to borrow 10,000? <laughs> Did you ever had 10,000 before? <laughs> where are you going to get, he said, I'll pay you, back. where are you going to get this 10,000 if you never had 10,000 before? <laughs> So, uh, <coughs> it's a problem. We want to borrow 10,000. Where, where, have you ever 10,000 before? If not, stop it. Stop it. Because you are not going to have it. So, then you'll be a, a bad, you cannot give testimony. You cannot stand up in front of heathen. So, that's why I spent this time for instead of continue with the word, uh, reading the word of God. So, uh, God wants you to enjoy the kingdom of God. It says, seek ye first, what we read here, the kingdom of God is like a seed 
of Master said, the kingdom of God, it grows. If you have the real the seed of God in you, it grows in you. I want to repeat, you will know the thing which you never knew before. You will understand things you never understand before. You will surprise. Okay. <laughs> Can I say this this way? The spiritual things, just like the education of this world. You know, say people here, yeah, they're, they're now there. She said, I'm fighting. Uh, no, I've got a diploma. No, I need, I need to have a master. No, I have to do this. You are growing. So exactly spiritual. In spiritual, you have, you find, you educate yourself in spirit by the word of God. You will become so wise, man, by the word of God. You will become a wise woman by the word of God. You will walk spiritual without following. You will walk where there are a lot of pit, but you cannot fall in the pit because your eyes are seeing. Spiritual, you will see that there's a pit there. There's a there, there. You educate yourself. You know things. The people who got a degree of this, but they don't see it. But I'm one to repeat. You are, if you stay in the world, you will be have a, you will have a, uh, you will know, you will have a, you will become one someone, the educated person. You will become like a one who's high educated education. When you, in the, I'm talking in the, in the kingdom of God. You will know things. You will know things which other people don't know. You will hear things which other people not hear. You will see things that other people don't see. So that's why I'm here today to encourage you to stay in the word of God. Okay, today I was in South Africa leading this man, businessman to come to know the Lord. He had a Bible. But the translate of that, translation of that Bible is very bad. Today, be careful with the Bibles because they are creeping in those people to destroy the church. Don't just books, Bibles. They are, they are doing this. Try to. There are a lot of books that say, oh, Jesus. Oh, some says, I know Jesus was this, some say Jesus never died, that Jesus like this, Jesus. But we, as seen in forward in faith, we don't care what they can interpret and say, this, this was not there, this was not there, this, was, this is not true, this was true. Because some of us, we already enjoy, you cannot change us. We have seen it, it works. We were poor. Now today we are blessed people. Because you, you cannot tell me any other things. Because one is as I told you, I met God before I met a preacher. So I'm different from that one and that one. I have to look for the preacher. I met God before I met a pre preacher. And then I, that's why I said that yesterday, you cannot be a strong member of the Lord of Foreign Faith if you don't have the history. You need to have a history of your father. You need to have a history of your church. Because even when the people, your relative hate the church, when they, it's not because they hate Jesus, but they which church? We don't want that church. In this country, when the people say, with, the people who don't like foreign faith, they don't like it, they hate it. People who like it, they like it. So two groups. Some people, they hate it forever. Now, but those who are hating it today, they are members of our church, some of them. Now, you know what we did? We were preaching, we never said that we are forward in faith. So like when I was preaching in Bindura, we never mentioned the church. We just preach Jesus. 
and they become members of our church, they later on they find out, ah, oh, it's the church. <laughs> Too late, they can't get out. They say, ah, oh, I'm staying here. <laughs> there are a lot of people, there are some that are here. They hate this church. But now there are how many people are here who are hating this church? And it seems, look, they are here who are hating this, but now they are leaders of this church. They are leaders of this church. That's why in this country, when you hear the people who don't like this church, they tell a big thing about this church. Oh, yeah, yeah. Especially in the area. This church, they love money. If you go to, they, they're going to take all your money. <laughs> That's the thing. Then people said, no, they, they don't take my money. I came to join this church. I didn't have a suit. Today I got a suit. <laughs> so they convinced their own people <laughs> that Ford and Faith don't take your money just cause you to have money. So, so, so my children, uh, I couldn't go much to the things where I want to, to continue the verses here until I finish this. Like we did uh, to the pastors, we said in January, we cannot teach you important things until we finish about the wounds. I think yesterday I mentioned the wounds. You have some wounds with your elder. You have some wounds with your uh, DP. So that, uh, let me give you a short solution and a good forever. You, the best thing, God has called you to serve God, not to serve that DP, not to serve that elder. Leave him alone. He's a petty deacon to you, big elder to you. Leave him alone. Serve God. <laughs> I want to repeat again. Leave him alone. It's that person, that elder is not forward in faith. He's a member too, like you. So never leave the church because of that one. Never leave it because of that one. Because you, he just came to church like you too. So never say the forward in faith is bad church because of that pastor there. No, it's only that pastor there. But forward in, forward in faith is good church. It's good church. We know it's good church. Because no, many, many, many churches, they are learning from this church. So if you are bad church, why people want to learn from here? So it's a good church, but there are some bad pastors, bad elders. Okay. When you say bad pastor, it's bad to you, but to God is good. What are you going to do now? You don't like him, and God likes him. So what are you going to do with those kind of things? Solution, I want to give you a good solution. Solution is to forgive that DP, and forgive that elder, and forgive that overseer. Forgive them, and just love Jesus. You're better off. I told you yesterday, I used to have my pastor who was not very good. He always borrowed money from me, never give me back my money. But he was my pastor. I couldn't ask him, Pastor, you borrow money from me, when are you going to give me my money? I couldn't ask him. I feel shy to ask my pastor, but my heart, ah, oh, this pa pastor like this. <laughs> oh, pastor like this. Take my money, don't give me money. But he's my pastor. What am I going to do? <laughs> I just tolerate and forgive him. I find it I'm all right. I don't see. You know, I know I'm just teaching what I know. I'm just, as I said, I'm your brother. I've been there. The solution is to forgive everybody. Be like just a baby in the church. When you hear rubbish, people talk about this, talk about, about this. Don't be a listener of bad news. Close the door. And here I am. The best way is to find someone who loves God the way I love. And we become friends. We go pray together. We are, we are all encouraged each other all the time. Not some people who, I was in Chicago, who my daughter said, oh, oh, things here, oh. 
oh, a lot of things, hey, oh, a lot of things, bad things, a lot of, oh, I said, my daughter. <laughs> Don't keep on listening to what's going on in the world. You'll be discouraged. Don't keep on listening, watching the wrong things in TV. Don't just read all the... But there are something happened that you have no solution. Yeah, a lot of bad things happen. Could have been a government, could have been a city council, could have been a company. Bad things happen, but you have no solution. No, if you don't have a solution, why you suffer? Get off from that. Leave, it, leave them alone. Leave them alone. Because you have no solution. You read the newspaper, like when that lady was talking, what are you going to do? They are in, in curriculum. They are teaching a lot of things. It's already passed in the, in the government, the part in the court. You cannot change it. So, if you don't have a power to change it, get out from it. Leave them alone. Find a way you can survive yourself. I want you to say amen. amen. I want you to say hallelujah. Very, very important. To, so you see, I spend more, much time because I want you to be happy people. I can teach you that the things of God to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Oh, if you have a start, I've been in, in Russia. You can search of that Carol, who's that? You know, Carol, that man who's fight with the religion. He used what he said. He said the religion is like a drug. You, you feel your husband speaking tongue later on your empty. Power, 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 power. Nothing is gone. That's why he was fighting. We said, church is good, not bad. Killing people. We are not that brother that like a drug, hallelujah, amen, tomorrow empty. Hallelujah, hallelujah, tomorrow empty. No. We live that life. That's a different. We live that life. We walk in the kingdom of God. We speak the kingdom of God. And we enjoy the kingdom of God. Yes, I was there in Russia. Right in Moscow, I told this story. When we were having, a, I said on Saturday, we are going to have a, a bride because barbecue, because we need to speak to people. And they said, that Saturday is very heavy rain. You cannot do it. I said, we're going to do it. So what happened? They organized, put the fire, and the rain came. And they, when they arrived, they said, we told you. We cannot do it here. Then we said, Mama, good, go there. We said, rain, go there. Leave us alone here. And there was an official from government. They were watching us. And they saw, they were laughing. I said, I saw, remember, man? they were laughing. I said, these people tried to pray. Man. <laughs> they tried to pray, stop the rain, these people. They were not too sure. But we said, Mama, good went there on the other side. But that day, the rain was a stubborn. It was a drop, go, 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 go. But she went there and was said here, I said, we will start a war with the rain. And we win. The rain went away. And we had a, we had a fire. People had a barbecue in Moscow. So we know that we are not a religion people. We know we've seen God. We know. So, brothers and sisters, I'm spending all this time, I could just read the verse here and make you feel the Holy Spirit, but I want you, how many of you do know, or maybe you, you don't know this, there are a lot of people who are spirit-filled, but they are not wise. A lot of them, they speak in tongues, but they are not wise. We are don't, we, I don't want to lead people like that. So, Holy Spirit, how many people, Holy Spirit, it's just sometimes like a, a watch that I got my watch here, which was bought by the whole church in Dallas, Texas. I lost my watch. I, one person wanted to buy a watch for me. I said, no. I want all my church here in Dallas to buy a watch. And everybody contribute. 
to buy this watch <laughs> because I wanted everybody to get some blessing. Amen. We have said uh, this year miracles is going to happen, but the devil is angry. He's going to do funny things like he did all the day of Moses. When Moses tried to bring these things in, the devil was doing the same thing. Paul, when people, Paul was for perform a miracle, people come with the clothes to Paul to heal the sick. And the uh, devil, the sons of Sceva, they were doing the same thing. So it's always when Jesus was healing the sick, they said it's believable. So you need to know what you are, you need to know your God. If you listen to everything, you're going, they're going to confuse you. Because it was like that before. There was good prophets and bad prophets. It's just going to be like the same. So don't, you must know you are God. You must know you are God. So that you cannot uh, be changed. Oh yes, we told you why uh, the Stephen was so strong. I'm afraid because I a lot of things which I we said in the beginning we want our deacon to have the same thing what we taught to the elders what we taught to the pastors but sometimes we find ourselves we are not sick on that because the Holy Spirit just changes us so but my desire is to read those things so here uh, when God be do, do miracles, devil will do some things to confuse. So important thing is to know you are God. Then I said, you know you need the history of your church. Because the people are not care about Jesus, but they don't know which church. When you say I'm a member, which church? The, your relatives, they are not fighting with Jesus. They, was, they are fighting with the, they don't like that church. Which church? Oh, they love that which church. So you, if you say I'm a member of Forward and Faith, they, they, they want to know what is, tell us. So you need to know the history. I you said you need the African Apostle and the history of your church. And that, once you have that, they can say anything. Oh, if it's, see, like, uh, all of us here, uh, you got your mother and the father, and someone say, "That's not your father. You don't. You know, it's not your father." <laughs> now I was working in in, in in Dallas. We were working in a book, bookshop. I was working with this lady. Her daughter was a grown woman. Uh, she says, "This is my daughter." but not from my here. But then she said, this girl doesn't know that <laughs> from here I adopted her. Now, how about if someone say, Laven, that's not your mother. She adopted you. <laughs> to put doubt on you. <laughs> when you believe that, when you see anything happen between you, say, yeah, I'm sure that <laughs> there's that. I'm think, I think so. Oh, yes, somebody can put doubt in your mind <laughs> and you'll find you suffer. <laughs> yes, yes. How do you know that is really your mother? <laughs> Who told you? <laughs> so, there's things like that in the things of God that you must know what you know so that they not change you. Because you are following, you are in the right things, but the devil doesn't want you to know the truth. He's going to try to f bring fun things in your way to hinder you. But you must know. That's why I said, I think he listened. What Stephen was so strong, it was by knowing what happened. He said, our father, God appeared to our father. God of glory appeared to our father, Abraham. So before he was in Mesopotamia before he came to Haran. So I said, you too, 
when they ask you, they say, go to your Ezekiel, go to your father. Says, yes, our father, Ezekiel, go to met God in Pumba before staying in Harare. He appeared to me not one time. He appeared to me not one time. The first time when I was in Vumba, when he, I was praying and fasting for some days. But who that shining in my front? I never heard the word, but it was just like this. Look, I fell down like a dead person, and then it disappeared. When I tell my sister, they say, you're going to die. <laughs> but I knew it was the angel of God. Then I said, when I was talking to your speakers, so there was time here when we were fighting for war to win our country. There were people, young our people, were born in the bush. Some of them they joined from other countries where they said they don't believe in God. Then they came to our camp, said there's no God, we must burn all the Bible. Uh, so, then I said, when they come here, they go, it's, gonna, it's me going to start to die. Because when they said there's no God, yet I've seen it, what are you going to say? <laughs> because I'm not following a religion, it happened to me, not because I was sleeping. Not dreaming. <laughs> Not dreaming. It was at 3 o'clock at 5.93 when we were praying with just a Jerry, Pastor Jerry in Malawi. We were two. When he was there, he spent some time. He didn't want to pray with me because the thought was going to happen every day. <laughs> so where are these three people talking to me? Now, when God comes to you, your body is meaning nothing. You just like you are, you are just, you are not in the body. So what happened in 593? They talked to me. They told me that you're going to have to, you're going to suffer for the sake of the kingdom of God. They told me a lot of things. Then they picked me up. And they, who those people who came in 593? It's not in night time. It was 3 o'clock. We were reading the book of Acts. So I know. I know my God. It's not a... I, that matter, in the Bible, there are long, a lot of... You don't know, but there are a lot of things, wrong things in the Bible. Some of things. It's people translated. There are a lot of things here in the Bible. That's why when you say you need to seek on King James, because we believe that if someone translates without any sight... He was just neutral. But some people, the trans, a lot of things in the Bible. That's why the Bible, we say the book of God, uh, there's the word of God and the word of man in the Bible. Don't, not everything the word of God. The word of God and the word of man. And then you say, how do you know? The, you read the book of John chapter 4 and verse 2, where when it says Jesus was baptizing uh, and then Don says, although he was not baptized. Who says that? The Bible says Jesus was baptizing. Someone put in bracket, say, although he was not. It's a man. So Bible is translated by people. That's why you always, when you did something, you need to go to give me the old Bible to search because things have been changed. It was some, there's an italic there, some of the bracket, but that, they're taking that bracket. Just like that. If you read the chapter uh, 7, verse 38 of that, uh, you, you find the words uh, uh, because Jesus was not uh, glorified, that's why there was no Holy Spirit. It's there. But it was, not, it was in brackets, but they take it out. You read it like it's, it's, it's like that. That's the Bible. So you have to know the Bible to understand this is a man, this is the word of God, this is a man, this is the word of God. So, we am telling you that you need to know you are God. Okay, I am your spiritual father. Here today, I want you to know this God. 
You don't worship this God in telling lie, uh, sleep with the women, sleep with the men, and keep that. That is, you are, you are going to live. You are not going to enjoy what we, what we have is spiritual. No money can give you like, joy. No money can, does matter, the joy I have in, in spirit, inside. It causes me to be rich in everything, but it's inside. Then, so I want you to have this blessing. But that why I'm spending time, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, so you can enjoy the kingdom of God. <clears throat> so, uh, let's regard the kingdom of God, which I bring signs and wonders. The kingdom of God is from generation to generation. Oh, what we teach today, we didn't teach it 10 years ago. The kingdom of God is from generation to generation. You see it in the book of Daniel chapter 4, verse 3 and verse 34. Luke chapter 1, verse 50. And Exodus chapter 4, verse 29. I am today speaking the kingdom of God to this generation, this deacons today. <clears throat> But wherever the, is the kingdom of God, there are signs and wonders. I told you when we moved from uh, Highfield, went to where we live now in Glen, we went there, we didn't have enough money to drive to come to Highfield. So we find a room and a school. They gave us a room to have a church. We went that room. We tried to call the name of God to read Bible. It was dead. There was no God in that room. We tried our best to sing nice songs. We used to sing high feelings. It was dead. Try to do what it, there was no God in that room. And uh, we were so, if we were not knowing God, we were going to move. Say there's something wrong with this place. Then we, we struggled, struggled. There was no God. Then we find out there's a man in the Bible called his name Amasa, then meant caring God, something like that. So we went and asked God, said, God, please come in this room. Be with us. Receive our prayer when we're praying in this room. And God came. We, when we preach, we feel the presence of God. And we, we, God came to our room, our that building. Uh, you, we travel over the world. We go someplace where the uh, worship, devil worshippers, they were using that building. And we've been there in, 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 in uh, Edgeway in London. You, we, they gave us room. But uh, when you try to preach, you choke it. You try to, because it's just full of devil in the room. We have to pray and fast to chase out the darkness from that room. And when the darkness is gone, the light came. When you preach, what, has, what is sign? The sign that the kingdom must arrive by casting demons, healing the sick. Then you know it's there. So we know that there are a lot of people who, there was a young man yesterday who said, uh, our church there, we don't know what's going on. The church doesn't grow. Nothing happened. We have a problem. I know those kind of things. To stay in a place where there's no God. There's no God. It can take you to Los Angeles in uh, California. Some area where you find yourself. You are empty when you go those around. So I've been there. So... I, want, I don't want you to be that kind of life at your home, at your family, to worship that is dead. It's just dead. Call the name of God, it's just dead. You try to pray, 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 it's just dead. We don't want you to live that. Find a way in the kingdom of God. Find a way to open, find a way. 
He said, I'll give you the kingdom, the keys of the kingdom. Find a way to open this blessing, this door. The blessing, this door. Open the way through the word of God and pray. You open the door, then the blessing is there. I know that kind of, we live always outside where we struggle to know God. You have to ask God, please, God, come this place. Then he comes. Then you begin to do the things of God and things are happening. <clears throat> Moses is a miracle. Now we come this, although we, the purpose of the miracle uh, is in the book of John chapter 4, verse 48, you hear Jesus said, people don't believe unless they see miracle. So we need miracles. And it doesn't matter the devil is going to do his miracle, but don't be, continue. Do miracles because it causes people to know that there's a God. So this, that is things. We, the message we, when we were talking about uh, the reason this year, we uh, said the year of having it. It was, I told, it was starting by when we were digging out what happened about five loaves and two fishes. What happened? That was my trouble. What it happened? Can it happen today? That happened to me. That, that, then I said, was it in hands of Jesus? Was it in hands of Peter? What happened for the 5,000 to eat with five loaves and the Luca said it was more people. Then that's my question. Can it happen today? The kingdom of God, these things must happen today. Now, it happened in, in our church. It's not here. Our pastor, Jarija, it is, he practiced this. Another woman came to the pastor. It's now it's dark. We forgot to buy a minimum. We only have a little, but it's not enough for my children. He practiced that scripture. Jericho said, go home and close the door and pray for children. And what happened? She went and closed the door and prayed, and she cooked it. It was enough. It's enough, enough. Here. Yeah. So, miracles is going to happen in our church. Miracles are going to happen to your family if you believe what I teach. If you believe what I teach, it's going to happen. No, we told you about money. Yes, it's going to happen through money, through promotion, through uh, education. You're going to see a lot of things. This year is the year of having it. This year is the year of having it. This year of the year sufficient. That little money is going to be enough. That little money you have is going to pay everything. And you will hear, they said, you already paid, yet you didn't pay anything. You will say you are in your account, you find there are more money in your account books. It's going to happen. So rather you believe the kingdom of God. Believe the word of God. Believe it's going to happen. <laughs> it's going to happen. It's already happening. It's already happening. I want you to believe because this year we don't know what's going to happen next year, but this year is the year of having it. This year is the year of sufficient. If sufficient. I cannot tell you all to myself. I can give you more testimony what happened to me when I sit down. I can tell you a lot of things when I cry. Yeah, you, you know, this church, you, oh, but I'm a father. I'm, all those, we, we hand over the church, but I'm still a father. I'm still seeing the needs, the needs everywhere. What about the need when uh, uh, Eldam Tema was losing his farm and losing his uh, everything the, because his son bought the money? No. The needs. I have to cry. God gave him money, go and pay. We are doing a lot of things because I'm a father. I have a burden. 
I don't want my children to suffer. But no, where I got the money? The money you gave last night, the elders gave me was it is to you is a lot of money. But it, to, to, when you have a more needs, you give him ten thousand, become nothing. Because the need is hundreds. <laughs> That's that you know, to you when ten thousand to you it's, it's a lot of money. And to us, because my need is started by hundreds. <laughs> no, what do I do? Yeah, fifty. <laughs> so the school in Bulawayo, they said we pay uh, thirty thousand for uh, Rabota. Now t- tomorrow we are saying uh, another thirty thousand to make a dome for the, the girls. Then they want to. Uh, now in Bindura, we have said my wife and. Uh, if the church doesn't want to help to put the shelter, because people are ruining the cathedral, we don't want to have all uh, miracles in the cathedral. We need that cathedral to be a holy place. But uh, today, if you go there, it's smelling everything. So we are busy collecting some money. Mama Goody said, I'm ready to find the money to ground, to put it, to clear the place so we can build uh, something like a tent sitter. Just a structure. Because people are coming from all over the world, go to Bindura, and a lot of things. So, but the, the cathedral is now, we have to change a lot of things. So we are busy, she's busy, collect the dollar to keep, uh, to, so we can do something. So we are busy, we are parents. We are not just the money you collect, you collect for, to support your pastor and all this, but it, it's not us. The money last night, you collected no money for us. For the work, it's already started. When your money arrives already, the money will go this way, this one go this way, this one. But I live, depend in the kingdom of God. I speak the word of God and God bless. I give what I have and God give me. All the time, I give, 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 and I give, I receive, receive. I give, give, I receive, receive. I give, give, I receive, receive all the time. So, I want you to be a blessed person. So, it started by how did it happen about five loaves? What happened? So I'm going to read those verses then we may, as I said, today I had a big problem because I have a lot of things to say and then I want to stick on the things, so, but I want to, again to, so I'm reading book of Matthew. Matthew Chapter 14, verse, verse 16. There. <clears throat> verse 16. Uh, verse 14, it says, And when Jesus went on out, he saw a great multitude, and he was moved with compassion for them, and he healed their sick. When it was evening, his disciple came to him saying, This is a deserted place, and the hour is already late. Send the multitude away that they may go into the village and buy themselves food. But Jesus said to them, They not need to go away. You give them something to eat, verse 17. And they said to him, We have here only five loaves and two fishes. Verse 18. He said, Bring them to bring them here to me. And he commanded people to sit down. This verse we read here is to explain to you that 
Jesus never performed a miracle when th there's no order. Even in a church, even in a church, you, if, you expect your pastor, God to use your pastor, there must be an order. If there's no order, you don't expect to have a miracle. Jesus said, put things in order. People sit down. And when they sit down, he said, bring them that love to me. And they brought to him. And that's the way we read. And now, <clears throat> when the people sat down, oh, verse 21, now when those who had eaten were about 5,000 men beside women and children. Immediately Jesus made his disciples get out. You know what happened? What that miracle happened? The disciples wanted to know. What? Then Jesus said, you go, you go, you go, go, go. Because there were, the other verse said, there were people who were ready to catch Jesus to make him a king. But Jesus ran away. Now, because of the, the kingdom which we've been preaching, is this year is the year to show these things that happened just to fulfill what I preach is true. That's all. It's not going to happen all the time, but the miracle is going to happen to you in your business, in your. Th but those things are going to happen like you don't know, you are not going to understand. Peter didn't understand. Jesus said, go, 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 go to water, go. Because Peter was what is this? What is this? This is, what is this? Five love we give. Then Jesus says, go, 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 go. When true miracle happen, you don't understand. I told you what happened in South Africa. I went to see the doctor. When he said, after, we thought I pay all the money. Then they said, you need to check all your blood. We need to check your blood. Then I went, they took a lot of bottles. Then I, later on, I said, I need to go. They said, you don't go. You must pay 2000 Ha! Huh, 2000 I paid already 2000 there. There's another 2000 here. They, she said, we are different with those doctors here. We are different. We pay. And there was there, no money. Money is home. If I send my son, he does know where the money is. If I, this doctor cannot trust me for me to go because it's new, I'm, this is a new doctor. Then I say, miracle! Ding, ding. <laughs> My son was there. He knew what money I had. He was afraid too. Where is it? He was afraid. He's not here. He was afraid. That's a miracle. It happens. It's going to happen to you. <laughs> but you, you are not going it's going to be like a funny thing. You know, first, like what has happened to me, first, I think I, I didn't count well. I think I made the mistake. I didn't count well. <laughs> Until I know, like uh, that boy, Emmanuel, when he counted, been shared, he said, it happened, Baba. It happened to me. It happened to me. So, all these are happening to fulfill what I've been preaching. I said many years ago, we, we, we used to preach the kingdom of God, but it was empty tin. We talk about the kingdom of God, the kingdom of nothing happened. We talk about the whole kingdom, oh, very nice words, very nice sermon, but no result. I've been there, have you been that kind of thing? You, no result, nice words, nice, nice sermon. It ended up nothing. But today, we have the keys of the kingdom of God. We speak. Things are happening. Now, what I pray to God, say, Father God, I don't want to know everything. Just use me for good things only. I don't want to know why God does these things. No. I don't want to, maybe some of them can get me pride. No, no, no. God, I want to be, remain a servant of God. I want to go, let God do things himself but I don't want to be like you know. So, because it's the year of having it. It's the year of sufficiency. It's the year. So, just believe. Believe that little man. Believe that clothes. 
Is that last month when we took my clothes? So I need to have new clothes. We put truck came here with the clothes. I said, now we need to find a new hanger because the clothes has gone. We find there are no, more, no new hangers. We sold clothes there. We took another suit. We sent it here. We, we said, now we, knew, we find a hanger to put new suit. No. It's full, still full. I don't know. <laughs> It's so full. My, my, my wife drop. It's so full. But uh, three times we send clothes here. Oh, we, we don't know. So a lot of things are going to happen to you which don't tell everybody, but they say you are, you are sick. <laughs> They're going to say something wrong with you. <laughs> so it's just you know, but I've already said to you, it's already happened to me. That's why I say, don't stop sinning, man. Stop sinning, because you're going to have a blessing. Get up from that man. Get up from that woman. Get up from them. Be honest. You're going to have a blessing. Control your body. Control it. So you can enjoy the kingdom of God. It's a year of sufficient. It's a year of having it. Believe it, speak the kingdom of God. You don't need to add anything. You just believe, speak, believe, speak. It happened itself. Okay, it's just like a miracle. True miracle ne never happen when you expect it. Always miracle is surprise you. Yes, with this hands, people jumping from a wheelchair with this hands, but Sometime, you know, when I have a crusade, sometime I, can, I know what's going to happen in my prayer. But it's most of the miracle happen, it's just a surprise everybody. You think I knew that's gonna, that blind is going to open. No, I didn't know it. But then I pray, things happen. To you, it's a miracle, it's a surprise. Me too. That's the things of God all the time. It doesn't happen when you say, let miracle happen. I got a brother. Oh, who's a, is that a Dan Duke? Oh, who came from America to see miracle in Zimbabwe? He went to Chinoy with the sound He went. He went there. There was no miracle. Nothing happened. He went back to America disappointed <laughs> because he was looking for miracle. Where is the miracle? And the miracle ran away from them. <laughs> miracle happen when you are not ready to surprise you. That's a true miracle. Not magic. <laughs> true miracle is always surprise the preacher and surprise. So that miracle, the true miracle I know. So the year of having it. The year of having it. We have read it in the chapter 15 of the same book. Chapter 15 of the same book. We have to read something there. <clears throat> same book. We need to go to 32 because of time. <clears throat> oh, verse, Matthew, Matthew 15, verse 32. <clears throat> Now Jesus called his disciples to himself and said, I have a compassion on the multitude because they have now continued with me three days and have nothing to eat and I do not want to send them away hungry lest they faint on the way. Then he, his disciples said to him, Where could we get enough bread in this wilderness to feed this as miracle to do it? Jesus said to them, How many loaves do you have? And they said, Seven loaves and few fishes. So he commanded a multitude to 
to sit down on the ground. And he took the seven loaves and fish and gave things and broke it and gave the disciple. And what happened? That seven loaves, it was enough for it to happen again. So they were all ate and were filled and they took the seven large basket full of fragments that were left. So these things happen. Uh, true miracle, sometimes it does you it happened because according to the needs. That's happened to me. All the miracle happened to me is the, the needs. When the needs arise, money comes. Amen. So when needs arise, when needs arise, when needs arise, things happen. I, we, are waiting, we are waiting to have another doctor to come to Mbuya Dockers. We want another car. Is that yesterday when I went to Waterfalls? I saw maybe he's here. He's already gone. Said, Mama, I've got a car for you. It's, the waterfall is there. Good one. <laughs> I received all the time. I received cars. Yes. For we, we need another administrator. So we need something like that. So God provides when the need arise. So you too, don't be play with money. You must be faithful. Now, my, myself, I pay tithe. Everything, when you give me a dollar, there was a time I was hungry, but money was there. Before Mrs. Rousseau come to take, she had to take the money. She, now she said, this envelope is clean. She had taken the tithe. They don't use that money unless she takes the tithe away. All the time. I have to wait until that uh, Murphy is taken out tithe. Then I use my money. If you eat your tithe, it's like you are eating your finger. <laughs> if, you, if you are eating your tithe, you are eating yourself. You'll be hungry. It's like that boy, you heard the story when the parents uh, have a, a corn up there, keep it for, for sowing. When, when the rain comes, then the son will say, give me, I want to eat. So son, father said, that's a seed. We want to plant it. If we eat that, we can nothing to plant. So when you eat the tithe, you are eating the thing you want to sow. So I paid, I give tithe. Not to please anybody. I give tithe not be, because I want God to bless me. I don't give tithe to bless the church. I give because I want God to bless me. The tithe, when I give tithe, it's a, it's a jewel of war to stop the enemy to touch my wealth. That I put jewel of war to protect my wealth. So that's why I give tithe. Shall we all stand? <clears throat> so, we have spent all this time I wanted to teach other things, but God wants, me, God wants me to say this, what I'm saying. But that was not my preparation. So God wants to bless this deacons as never before. God filling this deacons. Filling this today to have a, the day of having wisdom. This afternoon, we will pray for the sick. That's this. But this morning we spent time to give you wisdom how to live in this world. We spent time to share with you. you. You must be a wise woman. You must be wise men. Don't be stupid. Don't let the devil play with your life. Run away from the devil. Run away from the devil. Fight. Don't cope to those wicked people there. 
Don't copy that pastor, that elder there who got girlfriend somewhere. Get off from that one. Get off from that people. Don't listen. Don't listen rubbish. Don't let people tell you lie. Don't listen rubbish. You need to listen good things only. You need to listen good things only. Get off from rubbish. Worship God. Fight with the devil. Fight with the devil. Walk in the kingdom of God. And God will bless you. And God will bless you when you walk and kick the devil. Kick the devil. Fight every day. And you find wonderful. The blessing will pour upon your life. You will see wonders in your life. Things are happening and you don't understand. Things are going to happen in your life. Give God the glory. Raise your hands and thank God together. Glory to God. Wonderful. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Wonderful. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Wonderful. Fill your Father. Fill them with wisdom. Fill them with knowledge. Fill them with understanding your word. Bless your children, Father God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah.